Welcome to the Touchline here on Y254. I'm Robert Osoro. Big news here today as we go on to discuss everything that is happening in the world of sports. The German Bundesliga is actually returning today with five matches on the card. So we'll be giving you every story and everything as it has been happening so far. As I told you, Ala will be speaking to Dennis Okeo, an international media agency, is journalist. He writes for many international media agencies when it comes to sports, and he's here in studio with us. Dennis, welcome to Y254. It is the touchline. First of all, how are you doing? I'm well. Yeah. We, we are coping with the new yeah. normality. Yes. And thank you for mm. inviting me for the show. Welcome to the touchline, as always. As sports journalists at the moment, we are the ones, even if uh, we don't have the disease yet, as so far we don't have it and we don't want to get it so far but at the moment also we are suffering because we don't have anything to cover there's no coverage when it comes to the sports industry at the moment from your end what has been the worst thing you have suffered for so far when it comes to this pandemic and sports yeah it's uh, it has been two months of craziness and um, i think um, our health sometimes is more important than uh, than uh, the sports, and yeah. that's when uh, the directives were there, were made that um, no one actually should go out and uh, no sports event should take place. Yeah, we we were forced to work from home, mm -hmm. and uh, working is not easy, not uh, easy. especially with someone mm -hmm. who are used to going to the field and yes. mingling with people here and there. So far. What we've been relying on is writing feature stories. Yeah. Yeah, we've been writing feature stories because there's no events. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, um, and speculation. We're just spe speculating that yeah. uh, this thing will happen. This will go on. Mm -hmm. But so far, that's it. We are just relying completely, 100% yeah. on feature mm -hmm. stories. We cannot quantify even... Qu qu we cannot quantify the impact the coronavirus has had on the sports world. We will have to wait for it to come out. Every federation, every boss out there, when it comes out, it just doesn't want to give the numbers because it's very a mass when it comes to it. But from your end, just give us a preview of the impact of the coronavirus it has had on the sports world. I I I I may talk on particularly on Kenyan, yeah. on uh, especially athletics where I am more involved. Yes, Kenya athletes, um, the top top runners, that's elite runners from yeah. uh, ranging from 400 to marathon and even uh, mountain running. Yeah. They are around uh, 1,000 uh -huh. top top runners. Top runners. Yeah. Then there's another tie which is around 3,000. Mm -hmm. Yes, and top these top runners. Mm -hmm. And uh, equivalent almost five five uh, five million uh, billion yeah. per, per season. Mm -hmm. That's the money that uh, this guy is bringing in, 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 in the, the in, in the country. Yeah. It, that's that's uh, from from uh, bonuses, winning bonuses, yes. appearing fees, mm -hmm. and uh, co uh, contract signing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they they get uh, that's the kind of money. Yes. And now remember, all this have st stopped. Yes. Maybe some, maybe a, a small percentage, yeah. still gets the, the contract money. Yeah, yeah. We, we, they sign from big, uh, big sports uh, sportswear company like Adidas and, uh, and Nike and, uh, and others. And then there's this um, what we, we 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 call semi semi elite. Yes. Yeah, those who are struggling to to enter the big league yeah. of runners. They rely mostly on uh, local local, local races. races. Yeah. That's a kind of uh, Dakaini standard chart. Yes. Yeah, first lady marathon. I remember they are not happening. So yeah. squarely this guy are not earning anything. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. So the suffering is real. It, it, it is a big one. From your end, when you speak to these athletes, what are they telling you at the moment? When you speak to these athletes on the phone, when you interact with them on the phone, yes. what do they tell you? All of them, they are just praying that uh, the normalcy should come back, and um, their, their, their biggest prayer is normalcy, yeah. so that they can go out and compete again and earn their living. Mm -hmm. Yes, because yeah. majority, uh, some might be lucky because they are employed, they have a permanent job with uh, the Kenyan forces, that's a prison, uh -huh, KDF, yes. a mm -hmm. police, mm -hmm. and they, they have that constant monthly payment that come in. Yes. Yeah, but uh, some are not. They, they they are yet to get the chance to to, to get employed. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
the local races have actually come into a situation where we had a chance also to have the under 20 coming back to Kenya. We had the under 18 in 20 now when it's made to be the under 20. We are actually the, one of the first or second country to host it and it's not coming. Can you tell us how that has impacted us so far? No, the good thing about um, uh, under 20, which we are supposed to, 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 to have it actually next month, yeah. Yeah, is that uh, the World Athletics Body, President uh, Sebko, yeah. assured Kenya that they will host under 20. Yes. But what they, have, uh, they are yet to do is they put the date. Yes. They have not set the date when this thing will happen. Yeah. Uh, but at the same time, remember we, on, uh, we were to host a um, continental tour, the first yes. continental tour. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was coming to Nairobi on yeah. uh, May 2nd, mm -hmm. probably in Kwemi Shapit. Yeah. But uh, they have pushed it to September 26th. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, the date is set, and I uh, you know the, the, the LOC for that, yeah. uh, led by Barnaba Korir, the, yes. they're already working behind the scene, and uh, that one we hope uh, will be successful. Yeah. Yes. Now, but again, remember, it depends yeah. with the normals. It depends with the normals yes. that we are going to have here. But also, it, it, the, the athletics world has suffered enormously because of the events that have been cancelled so far. If you just give us a overview of the local athletic events that have actually been postponed, which one can people want to know about? The family bank yeah. um, uh, half marathon that happens in uh, Eldoret. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the organizers are yet to talk about it, yeah. uh, but definitely that's been postponed. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Eldoret uh, City Marathon, yeah. one of the biggest paying uh, paying uh, event in the country. Yes. Uh, it is not happening. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. they they postponed it. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Nairobi Nairobi uh, Diamond yeah. 10K run. Yes, it was supposed to happen in in April. Yeah. It was cancelled, mm -hmm. so there are several. Yeah, yeah. and uh, we, th another one, the Nairobi really host normally host them. Um, uh, uh, what do you, what, what Nairo uh, Nairobi uh, standard chartered marathon? Yes, in uh, around October there. Yeah. yeah, we are yet to to know if it will happen, yeah. but uh, we we'll wait and see. Yeah. Yes, actually, we are actually this year the only ones locally which we managed to have was the Ndakaini half marathon and also the Beyond Zero yes. marathon so far. It is the touchline here, I here in Y254. I'm Robert Osoro and I'm hanging out with Dennis O.K. who writes sports for most international media agencies and is here in studio with us to talk to us on the impact the coronavirus pandemic has had on the sports scene and we are actually focusing on athletics away from the field of play dennis because the, that is where most of us are for us we usually concentrate on the field of play the athletes and everything but what about the boardroom people these people sign our checks the people sign these marathon checks what are they saying from their end what has what how has this affected them you know i am um Athletics, athletics bonuses is earned by several people. There are race organizers, mm -hmm. there is um, agents, yes. there are coaches. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all that chain. Mm -hmm. Currently, they're not earning anything. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, what uh, I've, I've noticed, um, uh, I, I saw World Athletics mm -hmm. launching an uh, athletics fund uh -huh. that they want to channel to, to those uh, athletes who are in, really in need. Yes. And yesterday they released um, the fund. They released the fund around um, that goes around 54 million. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but remember that's a worldwide. Yes. Yeah. So the, the 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 fund will go to the most in need. The most in need. Most athletes. in need athlete. Yeah. Yeah. For example, if I may, I just point out is um, they said if athlete has uh, co uh, competed in a in a, in a in a dam, uh, um, golden, uh, golden, gold, golden uh, label yes. uh, marathon, yeah. then you are automatically automatically disqualified from from that uh, from. Yeah. Yes. Also, if you you finish within top six yeah. of Diamond League uh -huh. uh, circuits, yeah. then you are also out. Yeah. Also, if you are you have ever finished within uh, top uh, top uh, six in a uh, world championship yeah. then you're too much out but remember they have to apply uh -huh. show the need so they have yeah. to apply through our local federation exactly like AK. AK yeah. yes in this wow. situation yes
But so for us, are the semi-elite athletes eligible for that? Because for them, they have been, let's say, performing locally and they have not a, had a chance to go to the higher level. Yes, they have a chance, and, but they have to apply and indicate if re for sure they are in need of yeah. it. Yes. So it, it majorly lies with the Athletics Kenya Federation to give the to give that list to e the world. E exactly, yeah. exactly. Yes. Well, it's a big major for us there. But away from the local scene, also we got the Olympics being yes. cancelled. To our local athletes like Eliud Kipchoge, who was who was saying that I have got to get to the Olympics. I've got a chance to break through at the Olympics. What about them? How, what has this done for them? It, it, it was a, a major, major setback for uh, athletes, especially those who had already been uh, picked. Yes. You remember Athletes Kenya had picked the marathon team yeah. prior to, so that they can start uh, the, the camp yeah. in, in May, in the, actually this month. Yeah. Then uh, the, the Olympics were pushed to next year. The, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know, uh, uh, really, um, if the Federation will uh, still uh, stick with the, the names they already chosen. Yeah. Yeah, for, for but they, they are the, they are the uh, picking authority, so yes. they'll decide. Yeah. Exactly. And, rem and some age m might cut them out. Uh -huh, yes. True. Yes. Uh -huh. you, you remember the athletes who are uh, ages, uh, they're aging. Mm. And th probably this year was mm. their peak. Yeah. And next year they won't be at the peak. Considering that yeah. the Olympics committee, as the IOC actually said that we cannot postpone the Olympics twice. We just we can postpone it once, but if it cannot happen, we just have to cancel the entire Olympics. That one has got to be a bad statement to athletes who are let's say 35 years and older when it comes to the Olympics. Yes, remember Olympics happens in um, every four years. Yeah. So when uh, you add your 35, yes. then you add four, that's 39. Okay, 39. The young people are coming here very, very strong, they're ambitious, they want yeah. to make a name. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they actually uh, said kick you and uh, get the chance and probably uh, you, you won't be able to appear. Yeah, yeah. your chance is gone. Yeah. yeah. For, for that also, there is also the athletes going there, but even local and internationally, one of the things that has changed is the calendar, but also we have got the athletes' mentality to training. Are they training? Can they train to the same level when they are going for a competition? Uh, the, something about Kenyan culture in training, they train in groups. <laughs> yes. Yeah, when they in camp, they yeah. normally train in groups. Yeah. 10, 20, 30. I mean, some goes up to uh, 50. 50. Yeah. You go to Kaptagat, you go to Kapsabet, you go to Ten. Yeah. Yeah. In the morning, it's a huge, huge group. Yeah. And now the restriction is that you, you can't you can't be in a group. So, sure so individually, yeah. they are, they are training separately at yeah. the, the respective home. Mm -hmm. But uh, the, the, the psychologically, they they are, they are they're just keeping fit. Yeah. Yeah. Because they they're not sure of their next competition. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they don't maybe don't want to add more weight. Yeah, just keep <laughs> yeah. <laughs> keep fit. Yeah, exactly. And now the calendar is also the one that has been majorly affected. And everybody, everyone, not only in athletics but also in sports, and everybody will be running with the dates. Do you see a situation where we can manage to get this calendar back in line if we manage to return? Uh, the Diamond League um, organizers uh, uh, last week uh, sat and um, they. Uh, they decided that uh, the, the the races yes. will start in in um, mid August yeah. to October. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some some races um, uh, uh, will not come come in like um, let's say Dubai. Uh, the races in Dubai yeah. that those one won't happen. Mm -hmm. But uh, there's some diamond leagues uh, like Rome, London. Yeah, they they've been fixed yeah. to 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 fit within that. Uh, span of two and a half months yeah from uh, mid mid august to october mm -hmm. and, um, somehow i know they, they, be, they will be congested but uh, at, at least we'll have at least compete there yeah they at least they have something yes at the end of the season yeah and uh, we are discussing everything considering the athletics that has been happening here in the country and also worldwide considering that the covid 19 pandemic has brought the sports industry into darkness it is Today we might see a light when it comes to the German Bundesliga, but it's actually 
darkness. The German Bundesliga, if I just dissect a little bit, Dennis, is back today. Does it offer hope from your point of view, from your perspective? Because we're in darkness, we're in really darkness. But does this, do we see this as light at the end of the tunnel? Yeah, it's, it's a huge, huge um, moment for sports, especially to see Bundesliga coming back mm. at, uh, after two to three months of uh, no live football. And uh, at least it gives hope that uh, at the end of it, something good is going to happen, maybe in two months or one month uh, to come. Mm -hmm. Yes. That, that, that one is a, a, bi a big one for us there as they come in for us. But that one is gone and then we got the olympics that was also postponed and everything and also the ioc has come up to say that they have set aside 80 billion to to come up and also a fund that can tackle financial hardships created by the pandemic is it enough yeah it's, it's something at least there's something there yeah yeah that's that uh, will be enough for it yeah yeah and in in the in the whole world as everything is going on we we see Countries invest when it comes to hosting the Olympics. Countries go ahead and invest. What has this done to Japan as a country? It, it, yeah, they were, they were actually looking for, for a big moment to, in, in sporting in, uh, uh, history in Japan. And when um, the, pan the pandemic uh, came, came out, mm -hmm. actually, there's a huge, huge, huge financial loss. Yes. They are likely to incur, or already incurred. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's why they are, they, are, they, are, they are hopeful, at least they, they carry it forward to next year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Locally, as we are still speaking about everything that is happening to the Olympics world, it's actually nine years today that Samuel, the legendary athlete Samuel Wanjiru passed away. And we are celebrating his nine years since he left this art. But he left some of the best marks. What good memory do you remember about Samuel Wanjiru? Wanjiru was a pure talent. Remember, at, um, at the age of 22, he won an Olympic uh, gold, medal, gold medal. The first, actually, for the, uh, for the country. Yeah. And the, just look at the time that he was won in it. the marathon. In the marathon, yes. Yeah. Two hours, around uh, uh, six minutes, mm -hmm. which was Olympic record at that time. Mm -hmm. He was pure, pure, pure talent. Yeah. Yes. The short, the short period he was around, he broke three half marathon records. Hmm. before switching full marathon yeah so potentially was a uh, big potential to break world record yeah yeah because uh, he had uh, by then he had uh, the two hours five minutes uh, personal best time mm -hmm. yeah he is the one who paved the way for Eliud Kipchoge because now we have seen Eliud Kipchoge and he has come he has been the one who has been on the international scene similarities and difference between the two yeah, the, the, the big difference, uh, the personality level yeah. uh, is different. Uh, um, Wanjiru was outgoing yes. and um, fun-loving. Yeah. Every, everyone knows him, knew him. Yes. He could not uh, walk in, uh, the street, in the street without people recognizing him. Mm -hmm. While uh, Elwood while is, uh, is, a, is, a, is a polite guy, mm -hmm. uh, he keeps to himself most of the time. Yeah. yeah that's a huge difference. And, uh, but all of them... They are very, very talented. Yeah. Yes. We, we have seen also a surge of, we, we, uh, uh, for me personally, I think I grew up in the era of uh, Paul Tergat and uh, Hille Gabriel Silasi. That's when we saw them running. They were the major rivalries in the 10,000 meter. And, and yes. then we had uh, Samuel Wanjiru come in and now Eliud Kipchoge. Who are the young talents who are coming up to take over? Because now, this might be the end of time that we are going to see Eliud Kipchoge go the way he has gone at the moment. We, we, we still have a um, um, huge, huge talent. Kenya have uh, so many athletes, marathoners who are sub, uh, sub uh, two hours, five, five, five minutes. Mm -hmm. We have uh, Lawrence, Lawrence um, Cerono. Mm -hmm. He won, uh, last year he won Chicago. Yes. And Boston. Yeah. Yeah. And he was uh, picked to to make his Olympic debut. The, and actually, the Olympics. Yes. Yes. The postponed Olympic. Yeah. Is a huge talent. Yeah. The 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 guy who won um, who won uh, bronze at the World Championship. Yeah. Uh, his, his name is disappearing. Yeah. yeah. He's really good. The talent is there. Yeah. Yeah. And if you go lower, 
the, the likes of Ronex, yes. uh, Rogers Kwemoe, mm -hmm. uh, they are people who, Rogers, uh, Roger, uh, Ron, for example, Ronex, yeah. at his age, he's only 20 years, mm -hmm. he has already broken a 10 kilometer record, which was rectified this week yes. by I, uh, uh, World, uh, World yeah. Athletics. Yeah. So the basket is there. Mm -hmm. Yes. What, what, what's our secret? Because worldwide, you go from the time of. Uh, Kipchoge Keino, mm. the, the, the story of the Olympics, I think it was in the Munich Olympics in 72, mm. where he had a stomachache and came out when people had already gone for, I think, two laps, they had already gone ahead of him, and he came back and actually won that marathon. What, what, what is our secret when it comes to Olympics and the athletics in our country? It's, um, that's our major, major secret is determination mm -hmm. and Kenyanness to achieve. Yeah. In a, if we, we just focus on Rift Valley alone, mm -hmm. if you see your neighbor um, has really made it in, in, in athletics and uh, is living a, a life you, you, you might um, envy, yeah. there are some of the, the, the things that are pushing the young, young guys to come into athletics and work hard mm -hmm. to be like. They have, they have what we call them, um, they, are pe they are people they are look up to. Yes. Yeah, they want someone, everyone wants, I want to be like a boy, I want to be. Uh, uh, Paul Tergat. Yes. So you are pushed to work mm -hmm. harder. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that you can also get to get. that level. Yes. Where they are. Yeah. The, the, most of them they, they run from um, we, what we normally say they run from poverty. Uh -huh. Yes. Because yes, uh, if you look at the story, they have most athletes come from very very humble. Actually, there is no athlete yes. you can say that has been from. A very rich background. Exactly. Yeah. They come from a um, uh, very humble uh, uh, background. Yeah. And they see athletics is the only avenue mm -hmm. to make it in life. Yeah. That's why they push themselves to the limit mm -hmm. yeah, to achieve. Well, many things have been happening in the athletics world and we are just having fun here in studio talking about them and remembering everything that has been happening in the world of athletics. We have also had changes administratively. We have got athletes moving from field of play, track and field, to actually become administrators, become leaders. I hear there are some changes. Uh, some athletes have been made also to come even into the COVID committee. Can you give us uh, what has been happening here? Matelong has been appointed to be something in the COVID-19 committee. No actually, <laughs> Matelong is, um, is uh, the two, 2008 uh, bronze medalist mm -hmm. in, uh, in the steeple chase. Yeah. Remember the, him and Kemboy, the showman, <laughs> yes. and, uh, and uh, Brimin. Yeah. They, 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 they were the people during that generation. Yeah. And he has been a policeman. He retired in 20, if I remember, it's 2003. Mm -hmm. yeah, he, re he retired and he was a policeman. He has been fully, fully... Uh, uh, committed to, yeah. to police force, national, that's the national police. Yeah. And uh, uh, before being uh, given the, the chance to lead a, a police station, yes. that's an, an OCS, yeah. he's actually, actually the, 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 the professor in charge of sports for, for, uh, for, for um, national police in the entire Rift Valley. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And that, if, if, if you go back, Back, uh, well, the, the athletes who have really uh, risen through the ranks in, 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 uh, in police. If you, I may mean, pick uh, this uh, William, William uh, Yampoi, yeah. he's, uh, he's actually a, a, a one of the commissioners of the police. Yeah, he's a former 800 meter runner. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's a, a big one for him that he has come actually to the front. When it comes to others, for, for him, he's there as an administrator. We had Bungay. Yes. Making it to Parliament, I, I think we also another MP also Wilson, Wilson. Kipsang, also mm. made it to mm. Parliament. No. Did they make a difference when it comes to sports in legislature? <laughs> 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 I, I'm putting you on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, I, I don't know what, what, what to say about it, but. Yeah. Um, Yes, Bungay attempted to be um, a pali uh, to to make, he tried to make his way to parliament, yeah. but he didn't make it. Yeah. Uh, even um, even uh, uh, Wilson uh, Wilson Kipsang, Kipsang yeah. he didn't make it. Yeah. But the guy who made it was um, um, the, the 2015 Boston uh, marathon, marathon winner. winner. Yeah. Uh, his name is disappearing. Yeah. He's the guy who made it, and he tried to make changes uh, within the parliament, but mm. they didn't materialize. So, yeah. 
So somehow we can say we are here to see mm -hmm. a real change yeah. yes, at uh, the parliament level. Well, that is all we have for athletics conversation here in the country so far at the moment because it's actually darkness, but we might see light at the end of the day. Dennis, I cannot let you go without talking about Nicholas Musonye also coming on board to try and fight for the Football Kenya Federation presidency. Is this, something, <laughs> is this someone that we can embrace to take Yes, forward? yes. Musonye has been um, at the helm of sports for a very, very long time and uh, he has the experience the experience to take uh, to take the leadership of uh, football and take it to the next level yeah and uh, i've seen the, his, uh, his announcement on uh, on on, on uh, the candidates for uh, fkf position president presidential position yeah. has really um, elated some movement this this week and yeah. i think uh, he, he might have a chance but uh, it's not uh, Remember the, the guy, uh, the president now is not an easy guy also to, to beat around. To deal around yes. with, yeah. Mm. And the wrangles, Kenya Premier League and Football Kenya Federation, will ever they come to an end? FKF at the moment, they are, they are sole, I think they are sole, um, uh, their sole responsibility, they have to take, they want to do away with the current uh, um, football uh, Premier League management. Yes. And the, the friction has been there, mm -hmm. and I don't see them working together. Yeah. Yes. For example, they made changes that yeah. uh, may, uh, they, they decided to, to award uh, God to be the, the, yes. the, the champion, and yeah. they never cons It's said, it's alleged that they never consulted the, 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 the Kenyan Premier League, Kenya, Kenya Premier League yeah. officials. Yeah. 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 So I don't see them working together for sure. As someone who has covered sports for a very long time, and now you majorly cover athletics, what one thing that Football Kenya Federation can learn from athletics because most of the time people say athletics is an individual sport which are, for me to a large extent is not. It's actually a team sport because Elliot cannot run alone out there mm -hmm. and people think that he's the only one who ran and made it. They had a team that helped him get there. Mm -hmm. What can Football Kenya Federation learn from Athletics Kenya so that they can also come to a level where they can also get us gold medals in this country. That's a huge task uh, for football yeah. <laughs> to achieve at that level. Yeah. You know, ma managing an, in, an individual sports is t mm -hmm. totally different from uh, a group sports like football. Yeah. The, the one of the major problems is um, the way the football are nurtured from a uh, younger level. Yeah. yeah. The continuity has been a problem all through. Yeah. Every every individual leader coming in, in in football, they have different ideology. Mm -hmm. Others want to political. They want to go to politics, mm -hmm. and they use uh, football as an avenue of going to politics. Yes. Others are there to to maybe milk the the, the, the small uh, funds that is available there. Yes. Yeah. And for for them to it's, it's just need co uh, uh, um, commitment. To be at the same level with yeah. athletics, yeah. yes. But remember, they have to really have a youth group that mm -hmm. goes all the way, yeah. Because no shortcut, no shortcut. Yeah. it's just pure hard work and yes. dedication. Yeah, yes. Thanks a lot, Dennis, for coming here for the touchline on Y254. Because Thank you. we don't have many matches that are happening in the world, so we only have the Bundesliga. We have been giving our audience some of the sports movies that they can go out there and watch. Which movie can you recommend when it comes to sports? What do you mean I, 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 I don't watch movies, but yeah. um, I like, I like uh, uh, documentaries. Yeah. Yeah, there's, um, there's one that I'm currently watching uh, mm. called The Last Dance by uh -huh. Michael, Michael uh, Jordan. Jordan. Yes. It's an interesting, uh, you, and you see, you learn as a sports um, lover, you learn a lot of, uh, of uh, moves and, and uh, what goes around uh, behind the scene in yes. sports. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's one of the latest yes. maybe uh, what people can actually look forward and watch. Yes. Well, you heard it here from Dennis. Thank you for coming here on Y254. Thank so, you. The Last Dance by Michael Jordan is one of the documentaries that you can watch. It's actually a six-time NBA winner. Yes. And is there, you can watch that one. So, for the trailers of the sports movies to watch this week, we have got for you The Longest Yard by Adam Sadler and Chris Rock. This is a movie about American football, about an American footballer who got problems with the law, went to prison, 
and came back to make his career. We've got the Rocky series. You remember the Rocky, Rocky yes, 1 Rocky. and 4 yes. of Sylvester Stallone? Yes. And also one of the best boxing movies followed by also the sequel of Creed 1 and 2. And that is one you can also go out there and watch. And we have also got Moneyball, the latest by Brad Pitt. is also another movie about American baseball, sports movie that you can go out there and watch. Those are the trailers we leave you with them so far. When we come back, we'll be talking about the Bundesliga and everything that is happening, what has happened so far in the Bundesliga. But for now, let's enjoy the trailers of the sports movies ahead.